what an interesting thing to observe. Uh, 30 minutes earlier, there was over 1k viewers, and now it's 180. How? Okay, so I've got an exciting uh, video for you all today. Um, I'm going to be showing some evidence of Nisus viewer count spiking in a way that could suggest uh, viewer, viewer bots. I'm also going to get into a potential class action lawsuit that I think really, 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 really needs to start. Um, yeah, Nisus scamming people has been scamming people for a long time. Um, and I'm going to go over why uh, what he has done would meet every single requirement for a class action lawsuit. Um, and I think he could be sued for pretty much all he's got, in my opinion. But yeah, for now, I'm going to get into my reaction to finding out that Nisus viewer count spiked and then dropped dramatically. Um, yeah, it's some crazy stuff. Okay, so what's up? So I'm watching this Nisus right now. He's getting 187 viewers and... Um, Alright, that's pretty standard for Nice, but just a couple of minutes ago, before I played this League of Legends game, he had 1.1k. And, um, I wish I recorded it, but, um, yeah, like, here's a Discord message with, um, someone I know saying he has, uh, over a thousand viewers, and, um, he, he did. I don't know if this is viewbotting or what, or did he get, like, hosted by someone? I'm not even sure. I'm gonna have to, like, watch the replay about this, but it's really confusing because, yeah, he went from 1k... To 200 in just that short amount of time when I played one fairly fast game um like I feel like even hosting when someone if someone, someone were to host him it wouldn't drop that fast now would it like what went on like I'm actually I'm actually a bit confused um yeah this is, this might be some evidence for view botting like I mean tell me I mean like I, I don't really I wish I had the video recording of him having over 1k but like it, it's true you're gonna have to believe me on that one. Oh wait and um just kind of for proof, I guess, is this guy named Arthur Kowalski um, said, um, what an interesting thing to observe. Uh, 30 minutes earlier, there was over 1k viewers, and now it's 180. How? A little bit interesting. I wonder what's going on there. Um, and yeah, this is not me or nothing. Um, like, honestly, I don't I don't know if there is a way to just, like, find... I'm not very familiar with Facebook, but... Um, okay, yeah, but, like, I mean, this is just, like, more uh, evidence, I guess, I guess uh, suggest... Uh, no, why? Why was this like? Is he view botting? Like, come on, guys, it, it's possible. Yeah, and I looked at like Nice, and I couldn't find any evidence of um, well, of him being hosted. Like, no one responded to Arthur Kowalski saying, "Oh, Nice was hosted." Um, I looked through a little bit of his vod. Um, couldn't find any evidence of um him getting hosted. Him it, it, thanking anyone for hosting him. I don't even know who would be hosting him on Facebook. Um, but. Yeah, it seems like it could be like a malfunction in his view botting or something like that. Um, I, I really have no idea, to be honest. Okay, but this connects me to my second, um, I guess, piece of the day. And it's going to be um, something I thought about was um, someone said, man, he should really be paying everyone back who bought his um, coaching, right? Like he lied about his challenger. He gives them a bad product um, and pretty much scams people. And so then I got, got to thinking. Would a class action lawsuit work, okay? Now, Nice has claimed to scam hundreds of thousands of dollars away from people. Not a small amount, right? Like, a, a, a very, very massive amount. Um, and he also claims to be very rich and have a lot of money. So, uh, realistically, there would be damages to uh, claim and for people to obtain um, if if he has not lied about his wealth. Um, and so, yeah, I, started, I did a little bit of research. I'm not, like, a lawyer or anything. I don't know much about, like, law or the um, inner workings of it. But looking at it right now, um, here is like the uh, so the requirements for a class action lawsuit are right here, and um, yeah, as you can see, uh, class actions can be brought to a federal or state court, and um, court rules can differ. Differ, but um, yeah, that's not really what's important. The actual requirements here is um, you need an actual controversy or dispute under the law. So um, you must have an actual legal case or grounds under the law to move forward um, from your class in pursuing a claim for damages. And obviously, the damages here would be. Um, the money of the loss to 250 or 350 dollars um and uh yeah the question or fact of the law must be common to all members of the class and of course that is true um because he, he did the same thing to everyone right he he uh, fraudulently adver advertised himself to everyone who uh, bought his coaching okay and so this is called objective I I, uh, criteria to define the class of plaintiffs and this is really um talking about defining who is who is uh seeking damages from nice in this case and um I think that this is possible because people often love logs or core recordings or some kind of evidence that they had a um, coaching from Nice. Um, but then there's numerosity here. Um, and this is a number. There has to be a lot of people for it to be a class action lawsuit. That's so that um, 
because it has to be like a reason people aren't just representing them themselves in like small claims court or whatever against Denise and um, it has to be uh, 40 or more it says here I think um, for a uh, class action lawsuit and obviously Denise is claimed to coach like thousands of people so of course that is true um, commonality yep there's obviously commonality uh, and yeah any named plaintiffs must be typical of um, unnamed plaintiffs because obviously no, not everyone can be named or um, show themselves but that'll be true of course um, I mean, it, again, it's pretty much the same for everyone, and, um, yeah. And the last one is adequacy of representation, and it says named class members must not have any conflicts of interest with other potential members of the class, and the lawyers representing all the class members must have appropriate experiences. Um, so, yeah, that, that obviously can apply. So then the last thing that would actually need to happen, because um, it does seem to me like a class action lawsuit against Nice could happen, and I don't know if it would actually be thrown away. But yeah, so the first step of starting a class action lawsuit would be to uh, find an attorney who um, knows what to do with the class action lawsuit, of course. Um, you're going to want a lawyer, and um, and in this case, there would be a lot of money involved. Um, so a lawyer is going to have to happen. And um, I think a class action uh, lawsuit against Nisa really needs to start. Um, yeah, it's, it's like a massive, um, massive opportunity for a uh, lawsuit. Um, Thousands of people potentially could be getting uh, much money back. Um, Nice would be losing all of the money he scammed from people, and um, it would make everyone happy, right? And yeah, look, under uh, common examples of class action lawsuits, one of the common types is consumer class actions, and um, it is described as consumers can bring claims for false advertising, defective products, antitrust violations, or consumer fraud. And obviously it would be, um, I guess, false advertised. You could argue defective products, too. Um, really, you could argue a couple of these, but... Um, yeah, mainly it would be false advertising and uh, <laughs> potentially defective products. Like that, that, that you, you would have a hard time arguing in court, I bet. But um, definitely false advertising. Uh, photoshopping as challenger is, like, obviously would be the uh, crux of the argument, I assume. Um, as well as just everything he's done. Um, him, like, reading chat, not focusing when he's coaching people. Um, yeah, he, he's pretty much a scammer. Um, I don't know enough to know if... It, it, I, again, I don't know if it's necessarily the strongest case out there. But I do think that um, if you have been, um, you know, scammed by niece, pretty much, I want I want you to like maybe talk to a lawyer. Uh, maybe I should do this too. Look into this. I know I'm, I've not been scammed by niece, so I, I I don't know if I can really start it or like look into it. But um, yeah, I think I think it needs to happen. Um, and it will right the wrong that it happened. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comments and also what you think about niece's viewbotting. Uh, that'll be it.